Let's look at some of the, cr some of the crimes here. There's a DNC official named uh, Alexandra Shalupa who uh, was giving information, was, was getting information from Ukrainians and turning it over to American reporters. Well, that's the, that's the crime they were supposedly investigating mm -hmm. President Trump for that he didn't do. How, how come they're not investigating her? What, was she the Democrat, so she has immunity? It's, it's kind of ridiculous. And, and Joe Biden, you know, admitted a bribe on January, I've forgotten the date, 28th or 27th of uh, 2018. He said, I told that prosecutor, I told that president, if you don't fire the prosecutor, you don't get your $1 billion. That's the crime of bribery. Mm -hmm. there are also, there's also evidence that Ukrainians can come here and testify that he had an earlier bribe. Sloshevsky, who was the crook that hired Biden's son, basically the payments to Biden's son were a bribe to Joe Biden to get Joe Biden to protect the company. Because when Biden bribed the president of the Ukraine, he got him to dismiss three cases, not one. The case against the son, the case against the oligarch who had stolen $5 billion and now has that safe in his possession, and a case against a company that was going to be seized by the Ukrainian government that the uh, crook, the oligarch, the organized criminal, is now sitting in Ukraine fat and happy holding. So this is a very, very serious crime at the highest levels of government. And it's only because of our corrupt media that this thing is not going forward. And the fear that our prosecutors have that they're going to be they're going to be pilloried by the corrupt media, like what they're trying to do with Bill Barr right now. They're right. trying to intimidate him. Right. Rudy, I want to go back to something you just said a minute ago. You're, you're, you're releasing these documents in dribs and drabs. Why are you choosing it to do it that way? Well, I'm choosing to do it that way because I, I actually have released them before. One or two are new, but I released them starting in February and March of last year in the hope they'd be picked up by the FBI, the Justice Department, and maybe change the mind of the press that this was a real crime. Yeah. And all they did was uh, try to uh, destroy uh, J uh, John Solomon, mm -hmm. who, who did nothing wrong other than to break a story that he should right. get the Pulitzer Prize for. I agree. And they've made him into some kind of scoundrel. He printed nothing untrue. There's nothing that I've said that's untrue and that isn't supported by evidence. Right. Uh, they say Shokin is corrupt. Shokin says the same thing Biden says. Right. Biden says, I forced the president to fire the prosecutor with the threat of money. That's bribery. Shokin says, he got me fired. Right? right. The only dispute they have is Shokin can prove that he was investigating Biden and his son. And I now have the prosecutorial documents that show that all during that period of time, not only was Hunter Biden under investigation, Joe Biden was under investigation. What were they investigating? What were they investigating Joe for? They're investigating Joe uh, number one because there was a nine hundred thousand dollar payment that was denominated for lobbying Joe Biden, and they didn't know whether it was uh, laundered or not. They knew that the the uh, fourteen point six billion to Hunter was was lobbied, and there was always a theory of the case that Zloshevsky, the crook reached out to Joe Biden when Joe Biden became point man for the Ukraine and made a deal with him. You protect me if they try to take my business away and I'll give your son a no-show job. And that, that was the real bribe. And there were witnesses to, to that. So uh, that he was under investigation to see if that were true. Rudy, uh, is there... Is there um was there anything else beside just greed, in your opinion? I mean, I have a hard time thinking that all of these people were involved in covering up for Joe Biden and everything else just for greed. There had to be more to it to make people feel like they were doing their patriotic duty. Well, I mean, the, 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 Biden, thing, the Biden thing sounded strange to me at first when I heard it because I never thought of Joe as a crook until I looked at his history. Biden's been doing it for years, uh, Glenn. This is a pattern. I mean, point, point man means he gets named point man in Iraq. He fails to negotiate a status of forces with the Iraqi government. And his brother James, 
makes all that money. Gets, uh, uh, he gets ha half a, a part of a, a $1.5 billion housing program. He knows nothing about housing. Mm -hmm. Makes maybe half a, half a bill. Half a billion dollars. The kid makes somewhere between, they don't even know how much. They think the Biden's got somewhere between eight and $20 million because they haven't been able to go through all of the laundered transactions yet. And the United States hasn't cooperated. And then the one in China becomes a point man. China becomes a, a partner in his private equity firm. How, how, how is it possible that we actually live through the son of the vice president being a partner with the government of China? And Biden did nothing about it. And not only that, but is the things he's partnered Democrats can do on. anything. I know. And, and they can do anything. It, it is... Uh, it's terrifying to me that, you know, we look at Google and say, what are they doing over in China? Here's Hunter Biden investing in Face++ Plus Plus <laughs> with Chinese money and making money off of the rounding up of their citizens and putting them in re-education camps. I could make a pretty darn good RICO case against the Biden family where, uh, the, where the enterprise, because you have to have an enterprise, is the Biden family. Their job is to monetize his public office, which they do for big money three times when he's vice president. You got three other situations when he was a senator for lesser money. That's, all, that, you know, that's more than you have in most RICO cases. So more money than most RICO cases. And it's been used, and I was the first one to use it, against white-collar crime and political corruption. 